Good morning. We're glad to see you on Facebook and at www.thebraziltimes.com. Looking at today's edition of the Brazil Times, Brazil police are hoping the circus leaves town soon. Well, at least it's clowns, writes editor Pete Wilson. That's because social media has been abuzz with reports of clown sightings since the department responded to a complaint last week about a person in a clown costume scaring people at a home in the city's southeast side. According to the residents, the same clown went back to the house two more times that evening with one of the residents saying they thought they heard a child scream. Since that call, police have responded to clown sightings in different parts of the city and county during the late night, early morning hours. Police are not asking people to stay inside their homes, as was pasted, posted on Facebook, or to keep their children inside, Brazil Police Department Lieutenant Dave Archer posted on the department's Facebook page Wednesday morning. This is a Facebook scare that has blown itself out of control and continues to grow with each post and has the city in a panic for no reason. We also have uh, an arrest to tell you about this morning. An old situation got the attention of a Clay County Sheriff's deputy leading to the discovery of a methamphetamine lab, the arrest of a Clay City woman, and a search for another person who ran away. We're actively searching all the time for situations like this, said Clay County Chief Deputy Josh Clark about the incident early Thursday. Our department is taking a positive stance against drugs in our community. It all started Wednesday around 11 p.m. when a de deputy on patrol in the area of County Road 300 East, just south of County Road 850 South, spotted a parked car near a private access lane. Clark said as the officer pulled up to the scene, a male ran away from the parked car, leaving the female behind. When officers spoke to the female, identified as Shelby Marie Jukes, age 50, of Clay City, they noticed a strong chemical odor in the air and observed various items used in the manufacture of meth. Also, don't forget that uh, tomorrow is the big sesquicentennial 150th anniversary celebration of the city of Brazil. That starts at Forest Park at noon and runs through the evening clear up until the band concert and the fireworks. So if you go to our website, you can find a schedule of all of the events for our city's sesquicentennial. It's going to be a big thing, including the uh, revealing of contents put in a time capsule 50 years ago. Now let's check the uh, sports page. And our sports editor, Kerry Fox, reports... Northview continues its battle to remain in second place within the Western Indiana Conference Western Division as they head to Greencastle this evening. The Tiger Cubs boast a 5-1 record this season but are stinging from a 56-7 loss last weekend to Western Division frontrunner Sullivan. And we have more sports for you, including... Uh, in what has become a solid tennis rivalry amongst conference foes, Greencastle came away with a sectional opening win over Northview 4-1 to one on Wednesday evening. The loss caps a 15-4 overall team mark for the Knights this season. And North Clay football teams are continuing unbeaten seasons, and you can read all about that and more in today's edition of the Brazil Times. Well, there's a lot more for you on our website. That's updated 24-7, and uh, we hope that you will join us uh, here on Facebook and on our website. Remember, that's www.thebraziltimes.com. I'm Frank Phillips. Glad to see you. Hope to see you tomorrow at the sesquicentennial celebration at Forest Park.